Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This one is quite simple, but it can be painful for some people. I had a lot of people already uh, from my teachings in Fiverr. And by the way, just to let you know, and uh, like an achievement for me, I'm now a Fiverr choice for teaching DaVinci Resolve. And for this, uh, what I'm talking about is something that not only on teaching within Fiverr and even uh, on physical schools, people ask me what's the issue with this and even questions on Fiverr, even people that don't subscribe to, to, to the teaching, they just come to Fiverr and ask me how can I solve this issue because this is a common issue and a lot of people are getting this. And not only I'm going to tell you how you can change this and how can you prevent this from happening, but I'm going to show you first what, what's happening with this and why is this an issue. So I have this clip from Blackmagic and what happens is, let me just go ahead and create a timeline. And I'll create a new timeline using this. I'll create, use project settings, everything is okay. If you want to set the project settings, you go down here and see that your project settings, if you want to use this frame rate or whatever frame rate you want to use, that's fine. And I can create a new timeline using this. The other option is you can tag this off and then you'll see not to use the project settings. And one thing that people usually do is use project settings and just go ahead and, and turn this on. But the, the thing that you see here is the start time code. People don't notice this. But there's this one over here and people keep like changing to zero because that's going to make an issue. And the issue is I'll leave it at one just to show you what happens and I'll just hit create. And if I now, for example, create subtitles and you have to have the studio version to do this, create subtitles from audio, I'll just create, I'll let's make it automatically. I'll just create this. This is going to transcribe the video and set up the, the subtitles. So now you have the subtitles and what happens is, let's say you export the subtitle by its own. So if you go here and export the subtitle, what you're going to have is, I'm going to export subtitle one. I already have that one over there, but I'll export like this. And if I go on the finder to see the, the file, and if I go here onto the subtitle, open up with other, I'll just check in with text edit and I'll open up with text edit. And as you can see on the subtitle, you have the one. And this is not going to be synced with the video. I already have the video exported here. So if I just delete this timeline one and I call this timeline one also, timeline one, you do have the same timing. And if I open up with VLC, there's no subtitles. Okay, so you don't have subtitles because they're there, but they're not syncing. Even if you go here on subtitles, add subtitle track, and then you open up the SRT, and you play again, and still no subtitles, okay? What's happening is, because the subtitle has the one, it's making this error. Once you're exporting the video, okay, what you need to make sure, you go to deliver, you export the video, you export the subtitle as a separate file, SRT. I'll include the subtitle tracks in the export. And what I'm going to do, a second way to do it, is to make sure that in file, you have the start timeline, start timeline time code at zero. So this way, when you add the render queue, I'll hit replace, I'll render everything. If I go to finder, I can see the subtitle SRT, that's the new file. If I open now, you can see that the subtitles now is at zero. So this is going to be synced. So if I open up again the video with VLC, but I can see the video here, no subtitles. But if I select that subtitle track, the one called subtitle one, now you can see the subtitles, okay? So this is a main issue. A lot of people has this issue with the, the thing because they don't notice that the time uh, code is starting at one or even some editing they're starting at one and may cause some issues here. Now, if you want to correct already a timeline, let me just go here. 
you can see the one over there. If you want to correct an already created timeline, the way to do it, you go on the edit page, go on timeline, uh, right click on the timeline, timelines and go on starting time code. On this, you can now change it to zero and it's okay. And now you have the zero, you don't have this issue anymore. But the way I recommend also to do it is go on DaVinci Resolve Preferences. You go on User Preferences on Editing and the Starting Time Code because this way it's going to be always at zero. And you just press Save and there you go. Every new timeline that you create, if you just go here, Timeline, Create New Timeline, it's going to be at zero. You don't have to change it every time to zero. So this is an issue a lot of people had and there's multiple ways how you can change this and put it at zero and be done with that and not have that issue anytime soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.